welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, eh, kakain kami sa Kazoku Japanese restaurant here at Tomas Morato, near ABS-CBN. At good a place there. So, ito naman is more on Japanese food. So, had a lot of uh, samgyup naman. So, ito Japanese food. So, okay. So guys, ito naman natin makikita yung different selection na ng fish at ang favorite kong salmon. Ito naman yung interior ng Kazoku Japanese restaurant. So may pasandelier tayo dyan. Ito Christmas vibe pa kayo kasi hindi pa weekings. Yan, tapos may mga lanterns din sila. So very Japanese vibe. And here's their menu. So makikita natin na very affordable naman yung mga prices nila considering that they are a Japanese restaurant kasi usually dito sa Philippines um, Japanese restaurants are a bit pricey so yan and, you know, from tempura to maki California maki and then tonkatsu um, seafood tapos meron din silang mga ramen if you want that dessert and also some milkshake and food So, ito yung mga sauces nila, yung spicy, sesame oil, and yung um, matamis. And then, ito naman yung mga um, side dishes nila. And then, yung salad na sinerve din nila. Masarap din naman. Yeah. And then, also, ang gusto-gusto ko is sinerve nila ang very hot pa yung soup. Ito yung cold na ginagamit nila sa pagluluto. And these are the uh, meats na makukuha mo for the 488. Uh, package so ayan mainit pa talaga yung mga uh, food na hinahain nila and it's cooking time So I have with me, so first time ko, uh, mag-coco lab with my friend. Um, his channel is John Paul Gonzalez. So you can guys follow him also in his channel. Um, he's also doing uh, vlogs, um, mainly yung books. So tara interview natin siya kung anong masasabi din niya dun sa Kazoku restaurant na kinainan na. Ito siya guys. Say hi! So, ano masasabi mo sa Kazoku restaurant na kinainan na? Uh, for me, it is uh, super uh, in terms of the food. So, uh, medyo konti lang yung kanyang side dishes. But nevertheless, when it comes to the quality of the food, okay naman siya. So, pero nagustuhan ko yung unlimited shrimp natin doon. Oo, oh, diba? nasulit natin yung unlimited shrimp doon, diba? Yes. Sarap. And at the same time, uh, In terms of their customer service, super ganda. Super alaga nila sa customer. Wala akong masasabi. Parang sa lahat natin yung nakainan kong restaurant, this is uh, the best uh, in terms of customer service. Talagang mapapabilib ka nila na feeling mo you are really being cherished by the restaurant. The restaurant. Oh, so, ano na sa kanila. Tapos, yun nga, mawapasin natin ng automatic. Eh, para may pusa sila na Titignan nila yung mga laman ng table na siririfin na nila. Yes, and I also uh, admire their honesty when they told us that um, the remaining shrimps that they have is not that good. So instead, uh, they proposed to give us um, free salmon instead. So ayun, I think mas mahal naman yung salmon, di ba? Oo, panalan sila doon. So yeah, when it comes to quality control, I think napabilip nila ako doon. Saka how the manager handled the circumstances kanina. Very professional. 
fashion na talaga. Very apologetic of what happened. Pero meron silang naka-ready uh, solution. So, I really like it. Saka yung ano nila, yung upuan nila. Ganda. <laughs> Bakit ano nasa upuan? Wala lang. Stone ko. Very comfortable. Ah, okay. Ganda. Tapos ayun. Uh, we also saw an artist uh, dining there. Oh, uh, uh, Mas na-appreciate ko siya nung in-person. Ay, ganun. So, I think, ano, so, in, ter in terms of price point, ano mo sasabi sa price point? So far, siya ang pinakamura na kainan natin eh. Kasi, yung fantastic baka, I think that is 699 ba? Then yung Diamond Champion Sally, 499. For this one, ito yung sa Gazobo, 488 na. So, so far, siya yung pinakamura. So, great service din. Yeah, great service. Wala akong masasabi. Food is awesome. Sarap din ang food. So, that's it guys. So, see you next time in my next week. Bye! Palakay sa channel niya. Yeah, subscribe to my channel. Bye! Bye!